I'm Dana Denha, and you're watching FYI. In recent years, there have been headlines to make you question where your drinking water comes from, what processes are being used to give you fresh, clean water. The City of Ann Arbor hosts yearly open houses at the water treatment plant so you can see the water purification process for yourself. The Huron River is the hub of our city, with 85% of our drinking water coming from its stream. It's a tour of the water filter system here in Ann Arbor and how it works, which I think is an outstanding thing to do for the kids because the kids don't know. They just think, oh, water comes from the faucet, turn it on, ooh. We're 24-7, 365 days a year. It takes, it takes a lot to um, take water from a raw water source like the Huron River and deliver it into something that's drinkable. You'll see all the steps in our process. So having them understand what we do, I think really helps them appreciate and trust the folks who are delivering water to. The treatment plant uses various filters to provide high quality drinking water. We talk about this term called the multi-barrier approach. So there are several steps in the process. So if, if a contaminant can get through one process, there's always another one that follows. So you'll see those different steps that we take to make sure that the water is safe before we deliver it to our customers. I have got a chance to drink animals drinking water. It's really good and I think it's healthy. The actual steps involved in processing water and the elements used and being able to see dirty water be processed to what we drink. It's like, dang, it's actually crystal clear. Stay tuned and we'll be back shortly with more news and information. Art can make any home or business that much more special, whether it be a painting, a sculpture, or even a quilt. But one local business is making their installations a showpiece. Take a look. Established in 1992, Matawi Tile Works has been making an impact on the design world with their unparalleled creations. Nothing else looks quite like Matawi, so there's something distinctive about the way that I put shapes and color together. Uh, there's an artistic stamp. Noelle's vision has created unexpected artistic collaborations. I literally, I, I have lots of books and I basically look through and see what catches me. So it's an issue of, I would say, personal enchantment. And then I also actually work with other artists whose work I admire and feel like uh, it lends itself to Matawi's tile making technique. Uh, and I have license, licensing agreements with those people, including Frank Lloyd Wright, who's not around anymore. <laughs> Think of that as a collaboration across time. The tile are pressed, they dry, air dry, they get fired one time, and in, ceram in the ceramic world we call it a bisque firing, so they become as hard as a stale biscuit and a little bit porous. Matawi's process is key in the creation of these distinctive textiles. So then we apply the glaze either by dipping the tile in glaze for our installation tiles or by bulb glazing and then we fire them again. And the glaze, the glass melts, it fuses to the clay body and then you have a tile. When I was in art school you could make one amazing thing and that was great and you didn't have to repeat it. Of course in manufacturing you have to make the same beautiful thing pretty much the same every day and so process becomes critical. I mean, what I want to do is enrich people's lives with the beautiful products that we make and of course the way that I run the company. For more info or to schedule a tour of the facility visit Matawi.com. The city has three parks dedicated to our four-legged friends. But before you unlatch the leash and let them roam free, there's some need-to-know information. Learn more about Ann Arbor's dog parks in this month's City Roundup in 60. Hey, 
Hey guys, my name is Matt Morrow with the City Clerk's Office and today we're going to talk about dog licensing, dog parks, and Ann Arbor's leash laws. So dog licensing is extremely important, not only because it's state law, but it's also regulated by local ordinances. So Ann Arbor provides three different options and one, two, and three year intervals based on the rabies vaccination expiration date. Moving on from there, if you want access to one of these wonderful parks, you're going to need a dog park pass. For Swift Run, it's going to cost $35. Olsen and Broadway can come together at $15, and that leaves All City at $45. In regards to the leash law, when the animal is outside in an open area such as lifts, it needs to be on the leash. However, inside one of these gated areas, the animal is free to roam. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at our phone number, 734-794-6140. Or for additional information, please go to www.a2gov.org. Family drama can boil to the surface when you least expect it, at the most inopportune times. And a birthday is supposed to be a time for celebration. But for anxiety-ridden Carol, the intimate family party she's hosting is not going as planned. Joining me is director Loretta Grimes and actor Lisa Coveney for Redbud's production of The Herd. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Loretta, Thank can you fill us in a little bit more about the show sure. and what sort of attracted you to this show? Well, I've known about this show for a few years. Um, it was brought to my attention um, well, probably in about 2013. Uh, Lisa did a scene in our acting class and we liked it very much and she did such a dynamite job we wanted to do the complete production. So um, what I love about this show is the family dynamic. Um, every single character has an, a wonderful little meaty part and it's very complex and layered. It says so much to me about <clears throat> the power of love and family and resilience. And it's complicated. And as you know, I love complicated scripts mm -hmm. and complicated characters that are, that are layered and flawed. Um, the play begins, <clears throat> it starts where Lisa is um, talking to uh, her son, Andy, who has the severe developmental disabilities, talking to the caregivers and setting, making sure the medications and everything are okay because he's supposed to be coming home for a visit to celebrate his 21st birthday. So he lives <coughs> in like a facility. He does, yes. And it, a lot of things go awry. There's some unexpected visitors who show up, one being Lisa's um, ex-husband, Ian, who is played by Brian Hayes. Uh, Claire, her daughter, played by Katie Whitney, comes and a boyfriend that she brings, Chris Krentz, and so he gets to be in the middle of all of this uh, chaotic drama. And so um, things don't go as planned. And so there's a lot of unexpected surprises in this play. But to me, it, it's, um, I guess I'm so drawn to it because it says so much to me about, um, about love and, and, um, and what, what we do for love, what we sacrifice for love, especially when it comes to our children. Well, it's interesting for you, Lisa, because you've done this character, you've played this character in a shorter form at one yeah. point. So how has it changed for you? Because I feel like it's got to be so different going from, you know, that one scene in the scene study class to like bringing the character f full circle then years later, right? Because it's yeah. been oh, yeah. quite a few it years. Um, when I think <coughs> when I initially did it, although we read the whole play, you focus literally on that one scene that you do. And I was known for a little while afterwards as the girl with the big knife <laughs> because <laughs> my husband comes in, I haven't seen him for a, a number of years. And I, Loretta said, oh, just do some business, do some business. So I was um, preparing for this party. And initially I had a tiny little carrot and a tiny knife. And he comes in and he looks at me and I put down the tiny knife and I pick up a huge cucumber and I pick up a really big knife <laughs> and I start chopping it. And basically so many people just went, <clears throat> oh. And so for a very long time, I was known as the knife lady. <laughs> and, um, and then we had this uh, very dynamic conversation, but doing it from the perspective of, okay, we have a five minute scene and the mm -hmm. tension was so much and then we started here and we dip a bit. But having gone back and now doing it and having all the build up to that scene and doing that scene and taking that scene literally apart, um, there's so much more to it now. It feels different oh, now. Oh, yes. And there are times when she walks me up here and then she goes, now I want you to bring it down. <laughs> <laughs> I want to bring, and every night it's like, 
bring it down. <laughs> <laughs> and like, until the point of you want me to cry? I want you to cry. I want, I want, I want you destroyed at this point. So it is, it's, um, it's a whole different perspective. It's very different having Loretta direct you because mm. when you're doing the scenes in class, like she can help you. Yes. And she's semi-directing, but you're also sort of directing it just with your partner. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that changes it completely too. And, and she, I feel like Loretta always sees things in a way that you're not, you don't yes. necessarily see it yourself. But it's interesting too because you're, you're a mom. So mm. you can bring that into the character and you said that this character kind of reminds yes. you of your own mom. Um, I've said to my, my husband that uh, I, would, I would love for him, if he was possible, to film my children when they actually <laughs> see <laughs> the start of this film. Because within two seconds, they're going to go, there's Nana. <laughs> Nana is on the stage. Because my mum is the most loving, caring, protective person you're ever going to meet. And when it comes to her children and her grandchildren, she is a mama bear on steroids and so yeah literally this who this when i read the whole play and loretta and tim said you know they wanted me to do it i thought this is my mum. this is how if my mum was in this situation this is what she would be like she would be this manic and this protective and this um laser driven you know basically her whole focus is this child and getting him to the age of 21 is such a milestone for her. This is what her whole life has been about since he was born. Mm -hmm. And she feels that she is the only one that can do it. And so although she's had help, she's, you know, as far as she's concerned, no one else is able to do this or understands this child like she does. Do you find playing this character has affected your real life too? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, yes. I so now you're turning into your own mother. <laughs> yes. and, and, it's, it's also um, about half an hour before we, I go to rehearsal, I can feel her coming and then I, I do it. And as Loretta said, the, this is, it's like the play usually, when you have a play, we usually have, okay, we're going to meet some characters, we're going to take the audience with us and we're going to sort of like set the scene and then we're going to start with some drama. This one, it's literally the first thing that I do, I have to be up here and the drama starts immediately. And that is what it's like. There are so many ups and downs and the, the play is set in real time. It is a party. And so there's no, you know, um, intermission or now nah, this is the next day. Yeah, or it's like this the is audience is at the party. <coughs> is exactly. at the party. And so I go on and off and on and off. And as I said, there is so many um, emotional swings in this. And there is one particular speech that when I initially read it, I thought, oh, this is, this is a touching speech. But when I started to do it with Katie, every single night, it gets me. I don't have to do that thing, you know, like actors sometimes, oh, my dog is dead, my dog is dead. Oh, yeah, I have yeah. to be really upset now. You're just it in the moment. It gets mm -hmm. me every single time. And then at the end of the play, there's about 40 minutes where you, I am not myself. You cannot talk to me. Loretta gives us notes and I'm like, oh, I just want to die. Just let me rock in a corner somewhere for a little bit and then I'll be fine. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it's, that, I think that speaks to your dedication to the mm -hmm. character. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'll be happy to put her away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. When is the show? The show opens uh, next Thursday, May 30th, 31st, and June 1st. Okay, so you have your three chances to see. Right. And then, can you reserve tickets already? You can. You can go online or call. Uh, it's carytownconcerthouse.com. And uh, there's three tier prices of tickets. So, But it's easy to go on. You can actually, they've changed their whole system now. So it's very easy to order them. And you can um, you can just go online and pick what seat you'd like to. Oh, check. you actually, like when you go to the movies yes, now, you, you pick can. the seat yep. you want. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Just right. like imagine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we're just about out of time, but why don't you both tell us why you think that people should come see The Herd? Well, I think there's something everybody can relate to. Anybody who's been in any type of family unit, um, a parent, a sibling, uh, you can all relate to this play. There's a, a lot of love, and I should also say there's a lot of humor in this play. It's a very heavy topic. It's a very meaty topic. Um, and so, but you do, you're, as Lisa said, you're on this roller coaster mm -hmm. ride. And so, um, but with that, there are very, very many little humorous moments that sort of help cut that a little bit. But I think there's something everybody can relate to. Lisa, do you want to add anything? 
I think that kind of wraps it up. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I could add, add anything to that, but it is. It's, yeah, there is every family dynamic and everyone will be able to look on the stage and notice little characteristics and um, that they will see in their own families. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, well, thank you both for coming on the thank show you. and break a leg. Thanks. <laughs> For more on this and other programs, visit a2gov.org slash ctn. Visit youtube.com slash ctn Ann Arbor to see all that CTN has to offer. And remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching and tune in next time to FYI.